नमस्कार टुडे लेट अस फाइंड आउट अबाउट सेवन थिंग्स आर फेस कुड बी कम्युनिकेटिंग फर्स्ट वन दिस कलरेशन ऑफ आवर स्क्लेरा द स्क्लेरा द विजिबल पार्ट ऑफ आर आई समटाइम्स बिकम्स येलो ब्लू रेड और ब्राउन द येलो टोन ऑफ स्क्लेरा कुड बी बिकॉज ऑफ डिसऑर्डर ऑफ सम डाइजेस्टिव ऑर्गन्स exposure to strong winds or dusty surrounding a slight tint of blue shows iron deficiency or genetic bone disease a red tint of sclera can indicate allergies lack of sleep excessive screen time or a ruptured blood vessels brown spot on the sclera are harmless if they are as a result of high level of melanin it is important to take good care of our eyes by getting enough sleep or staying out of the rough weather condition take a eye bath every day by blinking each eye a few times in a glass of water second dry lips in winter many people have dry lips because of dry weather however such dryness of lips is also observed in conditions of dehydration or an allergic response to some medicine to overcome such dryness apply cow's ghee from time to time and this would protect and moisturize your lips every year as the winter approaches keep yourself well hydrated by drinking enough water third yellow bumps on eyelids these yellow bumps that appear on and around upper and lower eyelids as are called as xanthic asthma they are neither painful nor harmful they are made of cholesterol and could indicate heart disease it is best to go to the doctor for physical examination a person showing such visible sign of cholesterol should immediately make lifestyle changes such as having a sattvic diet giving up alcohol or smoking taking up cardiovascular exercises and reducing weight gain fourth gray brown spots gray brown spots or the patches on the skin of the face are called as melasma these are usually because of hormonal changes either during pregnancy or during the use of birth control medication this condition should not be the cause of concern because these spots usually fade away on their own when their baby is born or all the birth control medicines are stopped practice anitya bhavda and remember that all these patches are just a passing phase and don't get affected by it fifth point black heads black heads are small dark bump appearing on the skin this is due to clogged hair follicles or vitamin d deficiency black head can be removed by applying multani mitti mask twice a week multani mitti is also called as fuller's earth for this mask mix 1 tablespoon full of multani mitti with 1 tablespoon full of rose water and half a tablespoon full of curd mix it well nicely and apply it nicely on the face and leave this for 15 minutes wipe off with the moist cotton ball and then rinse your face with clean water get enough sunlight drink plenty of water and eat home cooked non greasy foods sixth facial hair loss This condition is called as alopecia areata. In this condition, person loses eyelashes or eyebrows as well as patches of hair. This happens when one's immune system mistakenly attacks their own health follicles. It is best to get medical advice and confirm which is the case. Among natural remedies, apply onion juice. for 10 to 15 minutes on the affected area apply this regularly and this will help in promoting hair growth lifestyle changes should be there such as avoiding stress proper diet 
proper exercise proper sleep and most important is balanced state of mind this will help you in cultivating a very strong immune system seven puffy eyes some people refer to puffy this as eye bags this may happen because our body holds more water especially during hot and humid weather condition other reason could be insufficient sleep too much salt intake hormonal changes crying allergic reaction to makeups certain foods pollens fragrances and other irritants as you age this condition becomes more common because of the weakening of the muscles which support your eyelids to reduce this puffiness you may place cotton ball dipped in cold rose water and put it on your eyes and relax for 15 minutes try to take enough sleep at night and reduce salt in your diet well one of the niyams of maharshi patanjali's eight fold path is swadhyay which means self study if swadhyay is applied on the physical plane it involves an observation of the processes and the changes taking place in our body some illnesses give minus signs before a full fledged manifestation a simple observation of your face daily can warn you about some health condition so learn to read the sign your face gives you and make the correct lifestyle choices for maintaining excellent health the moment first symptom is seen immediately attend to it don't ignore and the problems will just come to go it will not stay and you will be healthy and fit take care namaskar